Hi guys, Marlene here. Today I want to share a wee tutorial on how you can make your own stencils. Um, it's extremely simple to do um, and all you need for it is some plastic. Basically, um, I went to a pound shop here and I got some of these folders here. Um, clear plastic, see-through. And if they don't if you can't get them you can always use plastic dividers sorry I don't wish the light shiny in them but basically they are um, they're less see-through than the wee folders but you can see through them and they come in different colors and again this one's a bit more see-through um, as long as you can see through them they will work um, what I did is I went in on the internet Google images and I found different um, designs um, and I just searched for, what did I search for? Um, stencil backgrounds, I think I searched for. The main thing is go in and check that whatever images you pull off the internet is free to use. Um, but once I checked that, um, I printed out, um, or saved the images and I printed them out just on ordinary copy paper. So you have a selection of them. This here is, um, a finished one I made. Looks like raindrops here and goes right through there and look this is a bit scruffy looking but that's actually what it looks like now there's another piece of it down here I tried out but and there's another one I tried there so you can make these very very inexpensively I have a selection I made over here this one this one um, I did have another one but god knows but here it is this one see and you can make them in different sizes as well very easily so basically what I did um, I, I have used these folders here and I just cut off the flap and then I cut down and the seams here the whole way around I cut that off with a pair of scissors and I see this this plastic button on this one here is stuck here you can't really kind of get that off so I just cut down on either side of this piece of plastic and I ended up with two sheets this size and a large piece. And obviously you can, as I say, you can just cut them to any size you want. Very, very simple. Basically what I did, I took my design and I just took a sheet of the plastic and put it over it. Can you see there? And then I just used a salad tape and I stuck it down the whole way around. As this here is smooth plastic, the sellotape will come right off when you're done. So it's not, not a problem. But you want to make sure that it can move as little as possible once you start pulling with your craft knife. So there you go, that's completely stuck down. And then I just took my craft knife and I Put a new blade in this here just very recently so it's quite sharp and I simply just start cutting on the black line now I have a glass mat on here it's naturally on like it's on my table all the time um, so hence why I didn't think of mentioning it but make sure that you have a good cutting surface underneath um, so you don't cut right into your table and then it's simply just a matter of sitting and cutting it can be a bit sore on your hand and your fingers to do like I put a lot of pressure on my index finger the way I hold my knife here um, but for the bigger one that I did I just took my time I did a few of the triangles at a time and that's it and that's basically it you simply just sit and cut and you'll end up with a stencil I won't sit and cut it all for you because that would take quite some time and my hand might get sore but I'm sure you get the idea but as I say even these folders here would do, or the dividers, sorry, they would do. See this one here, you can, it's hard to pick up on the camera, but you can actually see through them enough. It's just a matter of getting the plastic and so it's durable when you want to work with your inks and sprays and paints and stuff. Listen, I hope you could use this little technique here and I hope you'll have a go. Talk to you later. Bye.